Hello folks, uh, we spoke about how, what sitting inside quant, the arithmetic, geometry, algebra and number systems and we then said look arithmetic is the giant in the room, so the elephant in the room and so it's nearly 40%. percent So we're going to dive down deeper into arithmetic and what does this 40% this mean and then what does it contain? And what is sitting inside this 40%? I'm going to uh, dive deeper into it. We'll start with what topics does it contain and then uh, how you should go about preparing for it. This there's a bunch of very simple straightforward topics, percentages and profit and loss, ratio and proportion and mixtures and allegations and averages put together, percentages, profit and loss and simple interest, compound interest put together, speed time distance, races, Python systems, time and work, one chunk and everything linked to ratios and proportions and inverse proportion, direct proportion, that idea. And so this is some super straightforward doable chunk. This is 40% of the paper. In a 22 question paper, it's typically about 9 questions. And so, when you get that right, then you can waltz through and clear all section cutoffs and go beyond 90th percentile rather comfortably. And so, get an arithmetic competence to a kick ass level before going to anything else. Arithmetic sets the tone. Algebra sits on top of this. You may get some questions using pipes and systems and P and Q, which can be classified as. Algebra layered on top of arithmetic. Even if you know how to do x square minus y square is x plus y and x minus y, if you do not know the fundas of pipe transitions, you can't attempt that question. This sets the tone. This is corresponding to 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th part of uh, math in school. This is what is called as quantitative aptitude without going into the more mathematical topics. And so in your class 10, 11, we talk about functions, limits, continuity, differential calculus, in, and then talk about trigonometric equation, trigonometric ratios, coordinate geometry, conic sections. Take all of that and keep it aside. I won't worry about it. We'll talk about what is classically defined as aptitude and within that sits all of these. Beyond this, there are two topics. The kind of sit here, exponents and logarithms and progressions. I have not put them here explicitly because they come and can, you can classify that as arithmetic or algebra, doesn't matter. And so, progressions, you're going to talk about a plus n minus 1 into d, lots of variables. Here you're talking about log x to the base y, lots of variables. Questions in these topics typically need solving equations with variables. And so, it can come either way, but I would urge so students look at this here in arithmetic before going on to algebra. And so, this basket of topics is super simple, super straightforward. Uh, gives you a gateway, a direct password to 93-94 percentile if you get everything right, sets the stage for learning algebra, number theory, geometry, all of that. So do this, be super comfortable and then go to the next one. What do I mean by saying super comfortable? Uh, if I say a, a father breaks his wealth in the ratio 3 is to 4, your mind should automatically say, okay, 3 is to 4. So the one son gets 25 percent less than the other, other one gets 33.33 percent more than this. The first one share is 3 by 7, 3 7 as a percentage is 42 percent. If you give if 3 and 4 are the two numbers, if I have to find in between this, what will happen if they, if they have another child, how do we give it away? All of that should kind of automatically be in your head. And percentages, ratios, thinking about averages should be kind of default. The next time you see 4 is to 5 should be thinking over 45 percent, 55 percent, give or take that range. So the, the kind of automatic intuition you can build to ratios and percentages is a massive bedrock for success in, in several sectors, if in the financial sector, maybe even in the technology sector, your hard marketing, your comfort level with basic ratios needs to be A high and lots of times students have it intuitively and so my daughter who is 9 years old kind of have a, has a sense that look 90% is way more than 60%. Right? But not in every context. So they get it. But then when we do the formula end, our intuition just disappears. This goes off. By the time we do the formula end, we, we try to solve. But our sense of how much bigger 33 is than 17 just disappears. We look at 17, we look at 33 and we, 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 we do whatever we need to do. Our brain is not thinking, oh, 33 and 17. L not double, little less than double of 17 is 33. Our brain does not think like that. Because it is not processed the magnitude of the number by the time it goes to the algebra of the solving part. And so it's very, very important 
to retain mathematical intuition about percentages, ratios, and simple links between numbers. And super important. Right? You should know that 33.33% is one third. That everybody knows. You should look at 83.33 and say that is 5 sixth. It is super important to build that intuition, hone that intuition, to have a sense of scale about numbers. And how do you see one number in proportion to another? And so build all that because it's going to help in data interpretation, logical reasoning, it's going to help in number systems, HCF, LCM, factors, factorial, it's going to help in algebra, it is going to help in life. And so do not underestimate this, devote an insane amount of time on this. And start with this. The one other thing that students tend to underestimate is revision when it comes to arithmetic. And this, these topics are considered too simple. And then you say, look, I got this. And then you go and spend more and more time on functions and coordinate geometry and trigonometry and, and inequalities and polynomials and, and reminders and all the tougher things where you have to, you have to hang in there and put fight to kind of earn the mark. The guys who are comfortable with math like the thrill of earning their marks. These are free marks, take them. It's always plus three minus one. And so make sure that you're on top of this. Make sure that fundas are clear. Make sure your speed is super amped up. Make sure that you look at a question and Automatically your brain processes that the time is given in seconds, the speed is given in kilometers per hour. I immediately mentally change it to meters per second so that I can do the rest of the questions. And so you shouldn't have to stop and process any of the standard templates. If you're given a question which is some compound interest till two years, till three years, they should know the link. You know that compound interest amounts go in GP, simple interest amounts go in AP. You should know how one grows bigger and bigger vis-a-vis -vis the other intuitively. Right, so all the ten, you should know relative speed, boats and platforms and trains, all of those templates, you should have not just kind of known about, you should have internalized. You look at the question and you know the method to plug in, which is when you'll get the confidence saying this particular question is not in any of these templates. This must be challenging. I don't want these three marks and skip them. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll end up trying the really two tough two questions from arithmetic and not taking the easy marks from algebra and geometry. And so crack this and automate it to the extent that you can do it in your sleep. If you want 99.5, 99.6 percentile in quant, it is built on foundational strength in these topics. These 10 are basic, simple, straightforward. I would add these two also. When you're doing this, you have to by default get comfortable solving equations in linear and quadratic. So that comes in the solving part. The discriminant part and the curve part and the graph part, all of that you don't need to know. But if given a quadratic equation, how do you solve it? Given, a, given two linear equations, how do you solve it? That should come, that is in, included in, in this packet. And so get this done, get this done first. Get this done before you move to anything else. Right? Best wishes. Hey, hope this video was useful. For more useful content, sign up with 2M for a 40-hour free course with us. All the best.